Hello and welcome in our PMB Boost talk series. In this talk, we are going to talk about autom automated scaling algorithm selection in OpenMP. I'm your presenter, Ali Muhammad, from HPE EMEA Research Lab in Switzerland. I, dis I did this work in collaboration with uh, the HPC group in the University of Basel, uh, led by Professor Leonard Sherpa, together with uh, Jonas Muller Kondorfer and Ahmad El Alimi. In this talk, we are going to discuss uh, the problem of uh, scaling algorithm selection in OpenMP loops and how to select uh, uh, the, uh, a scaling algorithm that improves the, the performance of, of the loop and therefore the application uh, through time steps and also on different systems uh, and how to do this in an automated way. Here we are going to start by giving a brief introduction about load imbalance and its impact on performance. So on the top right here, we have uh, the number of cores versus the, the top, top systems in the top 500 list across the years. And uh, what we notice here is that the number of cores per nodes in these top systems has been increasing over the years. And currently uh, we could expect a few hundred uh, cores per, per node in this uh, system, in a in normal HPC system nowadays. And with increasing number of cores, it's, uh, it becomes more complex for applications to uh, exploit the, this parallelism in, uh, and the, don't waste any, any time and energy uh, because of load imbalance. And the problem of flood imbalance, as we see here, is that if we have, uh, uh, if we consider this our threads working in a, in a loop, and the the scaling algorithms really the work in such a way that uh, the threads finishing times are not equal, then these threads here are wasting time waiting, and and this of course affects the performance of the application and also its scalability, and of course wasting energy. So let's have a look how OpenMB supports uh, uh, scaling for uh, loops. So yeah, here we have the uh, basic OpenMB uh, parallelization uh, directive uh, for for loop, and we have the schedule key keyword, which takes uh, two parameters: the schedule kind and the chunk. And the OpenMD standard supports three scaling algorithms, static and dynamic and guided, that can be used as kinds. And uh, two convenience uh, uh, keywords, runtime, which uh, defers the selection of one of these during uh, runtime, or auto. And uh, we have uh, the, for the chunk. Uh, it it has different means, meanings for different uh, scaling kinds, depends on what, what is the selected scaling kind. So for static or dynamic, it means uh, this is, will be the number of, of iterations uh, that are assigned to a, a thread during a scaling round. Uh, and for guided uh, chunk is uh, actually a threshold that the number of iterations assigned per, per round uh, is uh, cannot get below this threshold because guided uh, scaling uh, uses a decreasing chunk size. And the default values for the chunk uh, 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 argument is uh, n over p uh, if the scaling kind is static, n is the number of iterations and p is the number of threads. Uh, for dynamic it's 1 and for guided the threshold is 1. Besides the standard uh, OpenMP schedule kinds that are uh, that we saw in the in the previous slide, uh, static, dynamic, and guided, uh, uh, OpenMP runtimes can also be extended with with uh, more scheduling uh, uh, methods or scheduling algorithms, uh, and we have seen different uh, papers that that uh, that actually make the case that uh, more scheduling techniques can can improve the application performance in, in different scenarios, in certain scenarios. 
so here in one study we we, we have uh, four more scaling address defined in OpenMP and we see uh, uh, better performance uh, using different uh, uh, pinning strategies also for the same uh, benchmark and here on the right we see also uh, 15 more scaling algorithms are uh, implemented in OpenMP runtime and uh, used for uh, spec OpenMP map uh, benchmark and actually here we see uh, uh, as stacked bars these are the, ex the execution time of each loop of this benchmark so it has uh, seven different loops and uh, with uh, the red rectangles here we highlight the best execution time for this loop so this loop achieves the best execution time with fact, fact 2 uh, but uh, the best uh, scaling risk was different for for the third loop for example so here we see that for different loops of the same application we of course may need uh, different scaling algorithms and also non-standard or uh, or the extended uh, scaling risk improves the performance of, of different applications so as we have seen that uh, there are different uh, or many choices for OpenMP schedule kinds, um, depending on the runtime or how many execution uh, or how many uh, scheduling risks are in the runtime that you are using, uh, and there are uh, endless options for the OpenMP chunk value, so it can be any value from n to 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 one, for example, depending on how many iterations you have in the this loop. Uh, so imagining uh, uh, that, that, and also seeing the importance of this selection of selecting a, a proper uh, scaling kind and a chunk value for each uh, loop, and also per time step, it's application time stepping, and also, of course, we need to do this per application that we are developing, and also for different systems may have different needs. Uh, so, so. Having to do all these decisions, we can reach a decision paralysis and we, to, to the point that we don't know what, what to do and just uh, maybe use the default one, which does not uh, always result in the best performance. So we, we find that uh, uh, the OpenMB standards was uh, ahead of its time in, in defining uh, the auto keyword, which is uh, very descriptive and it actually lets the opening implementation choose whatever mapping of iterations to threads that improves the performance and it can do this during runtime and this can address the decision paralysis uh, that a programmer or a scientist can have uh, make having to do all these uh, selections for each uh, application we develop so we leverage the, the existence of uh, auto keyword as a scheduling option for the in OpenMP and we extended the implementation of, of auto in the LLVM runtime, uh, OpenMP runtime to have uh, uh, three algorithm selection methods behind uh, implemented behind auto uh, uh, random selection or exhaustive selection or expert selection uh, that uh, dynamically selects uh, the best scaling technique per uh, loop uh, uh, or and per time step and for of course for, for in, in any application and uh, also this selection it changes with the uh, is done during runtime so it also can change if the application or the system changes uh, and to address the aggressive selection problem in OpenMP uh, you can find the extended library here in the uh, GitHub uh, repository, and so the paper here is, is open access uh, in uh, parallel and distributed systems, IEEE uh, transactions, and also to address the chunk uh, selection problem, we defined uh, an expert chunk parameter that a uh, user can uh, specify as uh, an environment variable, export as an environment variable. Uh, to just uh, set it on and this expert chunk parameter is based on on our experiments that that we saw that uh, in, in here in changing the chunk parameter value 
from uh, n over 2p and until reaching 1, we see that there is a, a sweet spot of the chunk value, chunk parameter value, uh, that is uh, related to the uh, golden ratio on, on this curve between n over 2p and 1. And we have uh, observed this, uh, this, this value uh, that it gives good performance for different ap uh, applications and systems in our experiments and so that we implemented this um, uh, as an expert chunk parameter. So we take here a deeper look into uh, the regression selection methods. So random select it, uh, as the name suggests, it's randomly select a scaling algorithm. But it only does so if the load imbalance value of, of the loop uh, that it's executing is uh, uh, divided by 10 is greater than a random, random value. So we don't want to uh, change the scaling algorithm every time the loop is executed. So we only change the, the scaling algorithm only if, if the load imbalance is greater than uh, a random value that, that we calculate. Then we we take the decision to change the, the scaling algorithm and we do this uh, randomly. So we, we also calculate a random number between 0 and n and then select this scaling algorithm. And the next method is, is exhaustive search or exhaustive select, which do exhaustive search. And it, it tries uh, one scaling algorithm per execution instance. So the first time the loop is executed, we try the first scaling uh, algorithm and the next time step it tries the second one and in each one we calculate the loop execution time and we select the execution uh, the uh, scaling algorithm that uh, achieves the best execution time and if the load imbalance uh, uh, increases over 10 percent we uh, do the research again to reevaluate the select scaling algorithm again and here we have the last uh, selection method, the expert select, which uses the fuzzy logic. Uh, and uh, it const constantly ev evaluates uh, which scaling technique it sh should use. So uh, it's, so using fuzzy logic, we, we depend on fuzzy, fuzzy rules that are uh, based on, on our expertise uh, of, of the scaling algorithm which which uh, and also the look reflexes so we say for example if the load imbalance is is low and the execution time of this loop is uh, is very short so it's, it's a simple loop then we should uh, use a, a simple scaling algorithm and this simple moderate and aggressive scaling algorithms uh, are also uh, fuzzy sets that we defined uh, and here you, we can we can see the fuzzy sets for the scaling algorithms. Uh, here we lay our uh, scaling algorithm portfolio in on on the sets, and and we see how techniques belong to different sets, and how we can translate this uh, this simple rules to take a decision which scaling te technique of these ones we should use in the defalsification phase and how to change the scaling algorithm from, from one iteration to another based on the change of the loop execution time and load imbalance. So if we find that the load imbalance is, for example, increasing and also the execution time of this loop is increasing, that means that we are facing a, a high load imbalance and this is hurting the performance. So maybe we can use a, a more ag aggressive uh, scaling algorithm which can improve the performance. So we have designed a set of experiments to uh, evaluate uh, the, the, our implementation of auto for OpenMD. We have uh, selected five different applications from different scientific domains. Uh, each of these applications has different characteristics and different loops. And we have different algorithm selection methods. Uh, so the first one is uh, the implementation of uh, the runtime LLVM runtime of auto, which map directly maps to a uh, guided analytical chunk at scaling a crisp. Uh, and as manual selection methods, we have the manual best 
which means that uh, we emulate what uh, a programmer will, will do if he doesn't know which, which scaling algorithm to use. So he will execute the application with, with all the scaling algorithms that, that we have. We assumed here that uh, we will not play with the chunk value, so we set the, the chunk to default. And then select the scaling algorithm per loop that achieves the best performance. Uh, and Oracle is the ground truth, so we calculate this uh, analytically after the execution of, uh, of, of all the experiments. And we take the execution time of, of each uh, of the, we take the best execution time of each loop per time step uh, across all the scaling algorithms that, that we have. And we set this uh, as our uh, baseline to see how far we are from the best score performance. And of course, we have the three selection methods from, from auto. For the chunk parameter, we have the default chunk parameter and the expert chunk parameter. Uh, we use the three different uh, systems to or three different node types to evaluate our experiments. And uh, just as a total of our of all the experiments that we have done in this study, it's around uh, 2,700 uh, experiments. So we designed our, our evolution around five hypotheses, uh, and and we 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 wanted to see how the, our hypothesis uh, holds uh, in our experiments. Uh, so here, for example, the first hypothesis is that we say that uh, auto for open B will achieve high performance, uh, uh, and uh, this means that it will provide low variation across uh, different application system pairs. So if if we're uh, so if if for example, with what we want is that uh, uh, a programmer will, will just put auto, and auto should be able to select the best scaling uh, technique for any application on any system. Uh, this is simply put. And here we have in this table uh, uh, a very high level summary of, of the experiment that, that we have. Uh, here we have uh, the different application names and uh, application and system pair. So application and run. This is Alia, for example, that executed on PSDent, and then Gromax on WinHPC and Gromax on PSDent, and so on. And, uh, and here we have the experiment from pure work, uh, basically uh, no selection or or manual selection. So we have a static steel because it used. Uh, uh, work stealing to load balance, and we have the the LVM implementation of auto, which is the guided analytical chunk, and we have the manual best that we defined, and also on the far right here we have the Oracle as a uh, ground truth, and these percentages are all relative to Oracle, so the lower percentage it it means that we achieved an execution time very close to the Oracle time. And if we go very very far from 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 this, for example, so this means that here we are 26% uh, more than the Oracle time, which is which was uh, 1,321 seconds. And the shades of red here we we have uh, it's it's related to the percentages that, that we have. So the higher percentage, the darker the red gets. So looking at this table at a very high level, so if we have, if we see uh, uh, lo lots of, of regions of, of, of red lights, for example here, this means that we have high variation uh, of performance across applications and system pairs. So that means, for example, if a programmer always set that steel as its uh, uh, preferred the scaling algorithm for all applications and systems that he, he uses, then he will have high variation of performance. But what we uh, like to focus on here, for example, if we if use uh, exhaustive selection or expert selection in auto for OpenV, you see that the, you have uh, low, low variation of gradients of, of red, which means low performance variation across system pairs, which means that you, you will always be close to the Oracle value, which is the ultimate selection of our ground truth.
So the second hypothesis is that uh, uh, auto, auto for opening B adapts to to different uh, systems. So for, for example, here we have Gromax, the same application running on two different systems. And again, here if we compare it against the uh, static steel, we see that uh, we have um, uh, on one system we have 22%, so we are worse than Oracle with 22%, and and here we are worse than Oracle with 22%. And also here we have another uh, uh, fixed method, which is uh, dynamic using the uh, expert chunk. So performance is is much better with with dynamic dynamic with expert strength, but also it has high variation between systems. But if you use one of the automatic selection methods, so also so this automatic selection method also changes the scheduling algorithm. So we can adapt to the change of of system characteristics also and achieve uh, better performance on both systems. So here we have also a very high level of the performance of the of one application sphinx on this uh, and here we have the, the two loops of the application uh, in different shades of, of of green and the rest of the, of the, the rest of the application uh, and what we see here across uh, across all scaling algorithms that, that we have is that there is a, a high variation of uh, of, of loop execution time with different scaling techniques. So this shows the importance of uh, automatic selection methods. And what we actually focus here, our hypothesis is the, that expert chunk parameter improves the performance. So we see here between the left side of this figure and the right side of this figure, which here we use the default chunk size or default chunk parameter. And here we use the expert chunk uh, parameter which was automatically calculated to be equal to 40. And here we see also the automatic selection methods and how much they are close to the Oracle. So here we have a closer look at the, at the application that we saw in the previous uh, slide, Sphinx, on page 9. Uh, we have at the upper uh, part here we have the first loop uh, L0 and and the lower part here we have uh, L1 and uh, here we have the different uh, selection methods uh, Oracle expert selection or exhaustive and random selector selection selection and uh, so here we we see two things first is that uh, let's focus first on on Oracle so uh, Oracle is the ultimate truth, and we see here, for example, that uh, the best scaling technique for per time step. So here the, we have on the x-axis the, the time step or the loop execution instance. So this loop is executed 400 times, and this loop is ex executed 200 times. And we see here that the different colors uh, relate to different scaling algorithms. So he, here we see a, a lot of different colors. Uh, and that means that the best scheduling technique per time step is different. So it might make sense to change the scheduling technique during time steps, across time steps for the same loop. Uh, and the second one that we, that we see here is that uh, uh, auto selects, uh, auto for example, uh, of course, is, is able to, to do the change of of, the, of, of, the, of changing the, the selected scaling algorithm uh, across time steps, because we see here that it was selecting uh, one algorithm and it selected another and so on, and did this change uh, when the system also changed and and the execution time changes. Uh, and second what. Second is that we see here that there is two loops, and uh, of course, Auto was able to select different scaling techniques for different loops according to the loop characteristics. The last hypothesis here is that uh, we we want to see how uh, how the hybrid MPI plus OpenMP applications can benefit from from Auto. Uh, 
because we believe that reducing the the load imbalance at the thread level improve also the the performance of the uh, hybrid applications, OpenMD plus uh, NPI applications. And uh, here we have uh, Sphinx also executed on MainGPC uh, Broadwell node, and so we see that. Uh, the performance uh, improvement over static. So this execution ha was on four nodes, uh, and the, the the work was equally divided across the four nodes. But within the four nodes, we used uh, different scheduling methods uh, in at the OpenMD level, uh, static or gradual chunk or self scheduling with expert chunk size or random selection or exhaustive or expert selection. And here we see the performance improvement of uh, overall application performance improvement uh, based on the selection method that, that we use. So we see here, for example, that uh, expert selection improved uh, the performance of the application by 21%. So we want to highlight the importance of the algorithm selection problem in OpenMB for the scaling algorithm. And uh, as we have seen that the manual list and Oracle require uh, exhaustive uh, plan experimentation that take uh, much uh, a lot of time and needs to be evaluated if the application or the uh, system changes. Uh, however, out of RMB is fully automated. So it has no cost from the, the user and it's fully dynamic also. So if the application or the system changes, it changes with the, 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 its selections because it's fully dynamic and automated. It has uh, three different selection methods, uh, as we've seen from experiments, the uh, expert and exhaustive selection was the best among the three uh, selection methods. And an expert chunk parameter that the user can set as the environment variable to select the, the chunk value or automatically select the chunk value. Uh, we achieved up to 11% uh, performance improvements over the uh, LLVM implementation of of OpenMD Auto. And we like to think of this uh, work as a first step towards automated uh, load balancing in OpenMD. There are many directions for this work to, to be extended uh, to reach the fully automatic load balancing in op op OpenMD applications, such as that we for example, uh, these are a few ideas that we have on them. We are currently working on them to, for example, to compare the expert based methods, uh, for example, using fuzzy projects or, or using machine learning. Uh, uh, and uh, also, we want to use uh, the automatic selection in more OpenMD constructs. Of course, uh, moving also this knowledge in the scanning versus selection. In from OpenMD to NPI is also very important and we want to study how the interplay between OpenMD and NPI scheduling can, can work together and uh, how it can be done automatically in the condition between the two of them. Uh, of course, there are many other uh, scheduling and selection methods that can, can be added to, to our methods uh, or to our extension. Uh, and uh, and also we want to to see how to we can select if uh, or do a selection during a single execution instance so that if if uh, the application is not time stepping uh, we can also do automatic selection for this loop. So we we want to invite all of you to try to use uh, uh, auto for OpenMD. It's uh, of course free and it's, uh, it's um, an extension of LLVM OpenMD runtime library that you can find on the GitHub of the University of Basel. Uh, in, in this extension it's called LB for OpenMD uh, or you can use this QR code to reach to this website. Uh, yes, so please uh, use it and uh, tell us how it works or does not work for your application and how it makes the uh, the performance of your election better or how we can improve it. We are looking forward to hear from you for feedback.